Hiya Fishy Fellas and welcome back to another edition of Michael's Fish Room. I am your host, Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you. A new way on how to do a fishing cycle. Let's just call it how to do a fishing cycle 2.0 version 2. New and improved. I don't care how you want to market it. It's just a different way to do a fishing cycle safely with your fish. Plus, some more knowledge generally about a fishing cycle. Grab yourself a healthy snack, a healthy beverage, and a pen and a paper or some way to take notes and stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Before I get started, if you guys could just do me a huge favor, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's it's right down below. And then, of course, right next to it is that notification bell. Why don't you ding that as well? <clears throat> Today, we're going to be talking about how to do a fishing cycle. Now, before we talk about that, I have to go over what is the nitrogen cycle. Now, I've done a pretty basic video on the nitrogen cycle. I'll put a link up here for you. Uh, but real quick, down and dirty. Uh, the nitrogen cycle is when fish produce ammonia through their waste, their pee and their poop. Also, uneaten fish food. Ammonia deadly to fish in low doses, like one part per million, starts to kill fish. Half a part per million, not great, but probably won't kill fish. Beneficial bacteria convert that ammonia into nitrite. Now, nitrite in half a part per million doses will start to kill fish. One part per million definitely kill fish. A different beneficial bacteria convert the nitrite into nitrate. Nitrate in low doses, under 20 parts per million, no problem. 20 to 40 parts per million, not the best of times, but certainly um, not that deadly. Anything over 40 parts per million, you want to consider changing the water. Now we know all about the nitrogen cycle, there will be a quiz at the end. So how to do a fishing cycle? Why do you have to do a fishing cycle? In most cases, it's because... Uh, you went to your local fish store or your big box store and you went ahead and bought a bunch of fish and a tank. You bought that 10 gallon setup on sale. You went to the fish section. You asked the guy about all these fish. He said, sure, it was no problem. You didn't do any research. We've all been there. You know, you went and bought in three quarries. You got uh, two ember tetras, two glow light tetras, a bella shark, and of course, a pleco, common pleco. And uh, then you got some pink gravel, maybe some plastic plants, a little pineapple under the sea, perhaps a little uh, mermaid statue as well. You go home, you set everything up, you pour the water in, you pour the little packet of conditioner in, you drop the fish in, and everybody's happy until the next day when half of them are dead and you don't know what to do. And now you have to do, you have to do some research and you figure out you have to do a fishing cycle. So how do you do a fishing cycle? <clears throat> I've already done a video on this, I'll link up here, and I use a product called Seachem Prime, and I love Seachem Prime still, but I found a better way to do it, okay? Now, real quick, all this information that I'm telling you from the manufacturer, Seachem, uh, and uh, the other manufacturer called Fritz, comes directly from them. I email them directly, it's not hearsay, it's not what people said on Facebook or in a fish group. Or, you know, what the old timer Johnny said down at the, the local fish club. I've actually done research. Just like everything else on this channel, anything I review, it's because I've used it, okay? So this all comes with my, your knowledge that I've actually done this, all right? So, Seachem Prime will detoxify up to one part per million ammonia and two parts per million nitrite per dose. You can safely dose up to five times. So you can safely detoxify using Seachem Prime, five parts per million ammonia, 10 parts per million nitrite, okay? Seachem didn't mention anything about nitrate. Now, <clears throat> this other product that I've, used, I've been testing is called Fritz Complete. Now, I went to Amazon and I bought this myself. There's no promotion from anyone here, um, but I heard it was better. I heard it was better from a couple different sources. I wanted to test it. I emailed Fritz and they said their product will detoxify um, up to one and a half parts per million ammonia. So the quick math says seven and a half parts per million if you five times dose it. It will detoxify one part per million nitrite, so up to five parts per million nitrite. And another thing they said is it will detoxify up to 10 parts per million per dose 
nitrate. So if you have a tank that's way off the charts and you five times dose Fritz complete, you can detoxify up to seven and a half time parts per million ammonia, five parts per million nitrite, and 50 parts per million nitrate. That's good to know. Let's get back to how to do a fission cycle. Now, I was asked to redo my old video on this because in that video I said there's no need to change water. And while there really isn't a need to change water, that phrase can be a little misleading, especially to people that really know nothing about the cycle. So uh, I was asked by a very, 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 very nice uh, woman to redo that video. And so you know who this is. You know who this is for. I'm doing it for you. So a fission cycle is where you have fish in a tank and they're producing ammonia and that ammonia is being converted to nitrite and nitrate eventually. And the fish have to be in the water because you have no other choice and you can't cycle the tank any other way. So what do you do? On day one, as soon as you realize, you five times dose Fritz Complete or Seachem Prime. That will detoxify probably everything in the tank. Two days later, you check your water and you always keep an eye on your fish and see how they're acting. As long as your tests show, if you're using prime five parts per million, if you're using Fritz Complete, I would say seven parts per million ammonia and under, no need to change the water. If your fish aren't acting right, they're very sluggish, lethargic, they look kind of cloudy or they're really not eating, I recommend an immediate 50% water change. That's what I recommend. You change whatever you feel is necessary. I'm just telling you what I would do, okay? That probably means you're testing incorrectly or the tests are inaccurate is a better way to put it. But if the readings are, are actually correct, you have five parts per million or less or seven and a half parts per million or less and five parts per million or 10 parts per million nitrate or less, and you, whatever dose product, five times dose whatever product, you should be fine. And you do that until your readings read zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and say 10 nitrate. Until that point, your tank is not cycled and you have to continue this. So what you're, essentially what you're doing is detoxifying the toxins in the water that will kill your fish by adding a product, either Seachem Prime or Fritz Complete. I don't know, I've only tested these products. There may be other products that do this by the same manufacturer. I know Safe does it. And I know that Fritz has a powder version as well as their, as their Complete. And I think that does it, but I've never done that. So I don't know. People will ask me about Ammonia Lock and some other products. I can't answer it because I don't know because I've never used them. So this comes from actual experience testing in my fish room and contacting the manufacturer. That's how you do a fish in cycle. You only change water if the fish aren't acting right or you have more than say five parts per million ammonia, five parts per million nitrite, okay? It's not that difficult. You have to be diligent. You have to continue to check your water. It's not a cheap process because you're gonna need a test kit of course, the API um, master test kit is what most people recommend. In this case, you can use that. I would use test strips, Tetra test strips, cut them in half. I've done a video on using Tetra test strips as well. That'll save you some money and be quicker on how to do the tests. If you have the API master test kit, just use that, it's fine. You don't need to go out and buy anything else. During this process, I would not add any more fish. You can add live plants, that will help the process. No more fish, keep the bio load at a minimum. If you're one of those people that have gone out and bought a array of different fish that go, don't go together and they've died, and now you're looking for more advice, do your research, Google it, okay? If you have an emergency through this, you're watching this video, you have an emergency, feel free to leave a comment, but the best way to get a hold of me, the fastest way is to go through my website, michaelsfishroom.com and send me a message. I answer those very quickly. These comments I do answer, but it might not be for a day or two and that might be too late for you. In addition, if you're having an emergency and you wanna buy a seeded sponge filter, you can buy those on my website as well, michaelsfishroom.com. 
The fishing cycle can be done safely and harmless to your fish if you follow these directions. If you don't, you will harm your fish and probably lose them. If you're not sure what to do, ask first. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below how you cycle a fish tank. See you soon. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to another edition of Michael's Fish Room. Today, I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you on how to do a fishing cycle part two, version 2.0, new and improved, special edition. I don't know what you wanna say, it's just the same stuff but said differently. No, that's dumb. Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, no, I wanna say something different. Links down below. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't, this is dumb. I like my other video. Now this video, I have to tell you, comes from a lovely person who I've never met before, named Sarah. She is a hottie, I'm just telling you that right now. But she asked me to sort of update my other video, so that's what I'm doing right now. So Sarah, this one's for you. That's, that's dumb, I gotta. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. As you know, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room, and today we're going to be talking about how to do a fish in cycle version two, upgraded, new and improved 2.0. I don't care what you call it, how to do a fish in cycle safely updated from my last video, which I'll put a link up here for you. Uh, it's a great video, but I was asked by um, a hottie to upgrade it. No. I was asked by, by a very, very nice woman who I may say is hot um, to, no, that's, no, 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 no. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy folks. My name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. And t did I do that in the intro? I gotta check. Welcome back, fishy folks. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, guys, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It would really mean the world to me. And of course, don't forget the notification bell. All right, so today we're gonna talk about how to do a fishing cycle, version two, whatever. Um, before we do that, I have to sort of explain, um, um, Welcome back, fishy folks. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to do a fishing cycle, version two. Uh, before I go ahead and talk about that, <sighs> hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back. No, no, no. It will also detoxify up to 10 parts per million per dose of night. No, that's wrong. All right, fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. If you guys could just do me a huge favor, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, the notification bell. Now, this video, I just wanna say, uh, comes to you from a moderator named Sarah from Cookies Fish Room. It's a uh, Facebook group I've talked about before. I'll put a link down below. And she and I had a discussion about, you don't care. Nope, don't care. 